The Billings Fire Department responded to a call at 10.08 this morning of a fire blazing through a structure of the 200 block of Avenue C in downtown Billings. Police say there was heavy fire and heat damage done to the exterior of the garage, two sheds and a fence. Heat and smoke damaged the apartment above the garage and also the neighboring house. Police say an occupant from a nearby house was transported to a nearby hospital. The injuries are unknown. The estimated property and loss is $50,000. The fire is still under investigation. Firefighters responded to another structure fire Saturday evening around 5.15 p.m. at 615 Samuel Court. Police say an occupant in the apartment had fled and asked neighbors to call 911. There was heavy fire and smoke damage throughout the apartment and the attic space above the kitchen. The apartment was occupied and the resident was injured. The injuries are unknown. The estimated property and loss is $100,000 and the cause of the fire is still under investigation. Now, in Missoula, one person is dead today after being shot by a Missoula police officer. Around 8.30 a.m. this morning, Missoula police responded to the report of a disturbance with a gun at a residence at the 600 block of Blaine Street. Missoula Police Department spokesman Sergeant Travis Welsh said that responding officers were advised that a shot had been fired inside the residence. Welsh said in a press release that when officers arrived on scene, they encountered a person with a gun and shots were fired. No officers were injured and the suspect that was or that was on scene is dead. The shooting investigation has been turned over to the Montana Department of Justice Division of Criminal Investigation. No further information is available at this time. I'm back here in Billings after stops at the Salem Gym and Guido's Pizza, a fundraiser this weekend for a man with cancer moved to Angry Hanks. Family and friends packed Angry Hanks for a for Ron Huck who has a form of bile duct cancer. Angry Hanks donated the beer and will donate the money from the sales to the Huck family. Today's event also included a silent auction and raffle. The Celebration of Life fundraiser has been going on all weekend long. Another part of the fundraiser had fewer people, but still plenty of energy and emotion. Q2's David, Q2's David J reports on the Burpee Challenge at the Asylum Gym. Okay. A workout on Saturday helped Ron Huck and his family. We are doing a burpee challenge for Ron Huck, who was diagnosed last year with cholangial carcinoma. Stage four liver cancer, that's very rare, and my oncologist gave us some bad news, so I just want to spend the rest of my time with family and friends and enjoy our, you know, the time I have left. The idea was to do burpees for 10 minutes, and some took on a bigger challenge. Our trainer, Mike, put out the challenge that for every dollar that's just randomly donated today, he will do a burpee. And we're at, for him, we're at about $800. Mike, he's a beast over there doing all those burpees for me. I'm doing 500 burpees today in less than an hour. 500! And Ron talked about staying strong. You know, I know where my Savior God is, and you know, I'm comfortable. I've been, I've had a good life. I'm a very blessed man. I uh, couldn't have a better wife and daughters, and just, you know, my strength comes from them. And the Ron Strong t-shirt design has a personal touch. Yeah, these are Dad's signature sign. It means I love you. He does it to everybody all the time. That's my way of saying goodbye to my daughters every time I love you. He's been amazing through this entire thing. He's been really strong, really humble. I think their biggest supporters, which is the way it should be, are each other. They have the most amazing love story that I've ever witnessed in my entire life. You know, just thank you so much for everybody that's come out to be a part of this. I pray blessings on all of you and safety for your travel, and God bless everyone. David J, MTN News, Billings. Such a touching story, and as the last shot shows, Ron Huck actually did a few burpees himself along with his friends on Saturday. The Babcock Theater opened in 1907, and this weekend the theater reopened to once again show films on the big screen. Over a hundred years ago, Mr. Albert Babcock, the one who was did this, he said, Matt Blakeslee welcomed fans to the reopened Babcock on Friday night. 
The weekend featured six films starting with Indiana Jones and The Last Crusade from 1989 on Friday. The theater has been used for shows, fights and movies and now the idea is to preserve the building as a movie theater. We have a vision to bring this place back to the shining pearl that we believe uh, that it can and should be. Uh, but for us, uh, this was just a first step to get people back into the building to experience the Babcock and get excited about it. It seems like every time someone's uh, brought new life to the Babcock, everybody's interested and everybody's excited. And so it's really fun to just be a part of that history as well and see so many people that are in that place of being excited and energized about it. The last of the weekend movies for the grand reopening is the 1976 film Rocky, scheduled for 6 o'clock tonight. Well, don't go away. There is still more to come on the Q2 530 News. We check in with Montana Fish, Wildlife and Parks to see how they are trying to get more women into the outdoors. Later in sports, we look at the road ahead for the Cats in after their big win in Missoula yesterday. But first, let's check in with meteorologist Connor Pregitzer in the Weather Center. Well, happy Sunday, everyone, and happy to a big Broncos win there as well. It was cold down in Denver today, pretty chilly here in Billings as well. I'll break down the warming trend we can expect heading towards Thanksgiving in just a little bit. You're watching MTN News with Zoe Zandora, Storm Tracker Weather with Connor Pregitzer, and Sports with Casey Conlon. This is the 530 News on Q2. Montana's news leader.